The federal government will spend more than half a million dollars on a trial breeding program for a giant sea snail. It's the latest attempt to control the number of crown of thorns starfish responsible for almost half of the Great Barrier Reef's coral loss in the past 30 years. Researchers hope the triton sea snail, a natural predator of the starfish, can be used to prevent future outbreaks. The smell alone of a triton will frighten a crown of thorns starfish away. And so how could we use this? Well, one possible way is that we could put the odour into the water. We are currently doing our current culling methods and that might actually scare the crown of thorns starfish out of the reef system that they're in. Researchers in Townsville are working to breed more snails, which are extremely rare after being hunted for their shells. If trials are successful, the snails could be deployed to protect popular reef spots. Final touches have been made to Australia's first newly built aquarium in almost two decades. The attraction in Cairns officially opens tomorrow morning in another tourism boost for the region. If you thought moving home was stressful, spare a thought for this young hammerhead shark trucked in and transferred to its new home at the Cairns Aquarium. We have to be very careful because they are very sensitive to the water quality. 15,000 animals have been moved into the aquarium in the past month. Today's hammerhead introduction had an immediate effect. Most of the fish that were in the, in the time, they were very relaxed. And in the moment that we put the shark, they started the schooling because there is a predator now in, in house. Wow. Finishing touches have been made and it's been given a spit and polish. It's the first public aquarium to open in the country in 18 years. It's the first really big piece of infrastructure for the tourism industry we've had for some time. We've been working on this project for six years now. There's been over 600 people during the construction stage, 130 full-time jobs after opening. The aquarium will also house researchers and a turtle rehab centre. It's the only aquarium in the world that actually has got the ecosystems, habitats and species just of tropical North Queensland. The opening of this 50 $54 million attraction is a long time coming. Originally scheduled to open in April, it suffered construction delays and a long, slow wait for the water in the main oceanarium tank to settle down and improve in quality. The tourism industry hopes it brings the city an economic boost. There are people who are unable one way or the other to go out to the reef, uh, but also for visitors who are uh, just here for a short period of time, then I think it gives us a great chance there. We're expecting 700,000 people a year. We really believe will be the most visited land-based attraction in the region. Annual pass holders got their first look inside today. It's good for tourists, but also for locals, you know. So you, you can't go out to the reef every day, so uh, it's great. We've been looking forward to this for the year, really, and it's spectacular. It opens to the general public tomorrow. Casey Briggs, ABC News, Cairns.